Hey guys, Tyler Erzberg here from Seoul, South Korea for the 2018 League of Legends World Championship. And today I'm joined by the birthday boy himself, Licorice. So, 2-0 day, how does it feel coming out of it? Uh, I felt a lot better after the 1-0 than I do after the 2-0. Uh, I think that we played pretty poorly as a team in the second game, but we were able to recover and take the win at the end. Uh, DFM coming into the event was known as, you know, they're the wacky team. Saros can play anything and everything. Uh, what was your prep going into the DFM match against them? Um, there wasn't too much specific prep. Uh, we banned the Heimer because we know that's something that they like to play. And then we were also aware that they were going to pick Ziggs, but we weren't ready for them to blind pick it. And that was a bit weird because we didn't even, like, know what to play into it. So um, th there wasn't too much specific prep to go into it. What was the biggest surprise against playing against DFM? Uh, the top laner, Eevee, Evie, it was very, very good in lane. Just how do you want to about that player? What surprised you most about the Japanese team? Um, I guess it'd be their top laner. Uh, I've seen him in solo queue. I know he's actually really high on the challenger ladder in Korea, so I was expecting a fight in top lane. Um, he played uh, really well in the match. Uh, near the end, he started to fall behind in CS, but that's more of like a team thing as opposed to a him thing where it's just the way they're playing as a team. But uh, I thought he played really well. Uh, obviously you're a rookie coming from North American LCS. I've been to the LCS arena for the last three years. This Lowell Park that we're at, this kind of theme park for League of Legends, just how was it, you know, just exploring this place? You told me the playrooms are just crazy. Just, can you talk a little about the Lowell Park experience? Oh, the, the Lowell Park experience is incredible. I think that... Uh, the, the green rooms are fantastic. The, the back rooms are fantastic. I love the stage. Uh, I really don't have any complaints about it. And I think that uh, maybe the NA LCS could learn a thing or two from here. But we'll see about that one. Uh, what did you learn most about yourself today? This was your first Worlds experience. You came in with an excellent first game, one MVP. You're coming off hot. Second game was a little bit of a fight. Just what did you learn about yourself through the first game of Worlds or the first day of Worlds? Um, what did I learn about myself? Um, I guess. Yeah, I don't know what I learned. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I guess I learned that we can come back as a team, and I think that's something that's really valuable to learn, so that you're not like really afraid every time you fall behind, and you will never feel like a game is like over just because you make a mistake. Uh, looking at the Western teams at the event, Fnatic, Team Liquid, I've been going around and a lot of hype has been going around one European team, Fnatic. Uh, how would you, I mean, obviously they're being called Scrim God, just looking at the Western field, do you think Fnatic is, you know, ahead of the pack? Yeah, I mean, they're definitely Scrim Gods, so <laughs> I, I can definitely agree with that one. Um, it does look like they're ahead of the pack. I guess I'll, we'll have to wait to see them play in groups but it does seem like they're like one notch above the rest of the Western teams right now. Uh, right now you're two now. You should be in line for at least a best of five seed. Maybe first, maybe second if you lose to DFM again, or if you lose to DFM. Uh, what's one of the playing teams you do not want to face in the best of five? Let's not say EDG or G2, but one of the other teams. Um, I guess it'd be super massive. Um, mainly because I used to play with GVM. And I know that Supermassive is actually looking pretty strong for a wildcard team. And also, I wouldn't want to knock my friend out of the tournament. So, uh, Thank you very much. And for our final question, I want you to look at the camera. And you have 30 seconds. What do you want to say to your fans, the, Clay, the Cloud9 faithful, and everyone home in NA? Um, it'd just be like, thanks so much for the support. The year has been a wild ride. And hopefully, we can have a great performance at Worlds to close things out. I just want to say happy birthday to you and to everyone at home. If you want more live coverage on the ground from South Korea, check us out at ESPN.com slash esports.